What's happening guys, Sam Adams here, and welcome to a brand new episode of The Drop, which of course is the show where I'll let you know what games are coming out across the PlayStation 4, the Xbox One, the Switch, the PC, whatever they might be coming out on, we will talk about them all right here. And this week our headliner is Shakedown Hawaii, a really cool game that blends business management with open world action in an incredibly creative way. But on top of that we have Puyo Puyo Champions, Brief Battles, a ton of other games worth mentioning. So without further ado, let's go ahead and dive into this week's lineup. Kicking things off, we have Shakedown Shakedown Hawaii coming out on the PS4, the Vita, the Switch, and the PC. The entire island is up for grabs, or at least could be with the right business model. Shakedown Hawaii combines open world action and empire building. Build a legitimate corporation by completing open world missions, acquiring businesses, sabotaging competitors, rezoning land, and shaking down shops for protection money. Shakedown Hawaii parodies big business and the most absurd business practices that go alongside. You are the CEO, and questionable subsidiaries, misleading ads, fine print, hidden service fees, and marketing spin are the tools of your trade. From the boardroom to the streets, build your corporate empire and destroy the competition. To begin, I love, adore, and admire the concept of this game because it blends seedy business practices with something like an open world action game like Retro City Rampage that came out in 2015. Uh, but when it comes down to it, I just love the fact that it's subliminally calling out corporate America for being what it is, and that's an under the table marketing scam. Never mind, I'm not going to get into that. This game looks fantastic, so if you do want to dive in and check out one of the most interesting indies coming out in 2019 without a doubt check out shakedown hawaii again coming out this week on the ps4 the vita the pc and the nintendo switch next up we've got puyo puyo champions coming out on the ps4 the xbox one the switch and the pc easy to learn tough to master jump straight into fast-paced puzzle action with features fit for both friendly rivalries and competitive tournaments in puyo puyo champions challenge your friends and family in local multiplayer or compete against players from around the world through online matchmaking build for all ages this class classic puzzle game comes with a surprisingly competitive edge. Craft strategic chains and drop devastating attacks with your favorite characters from over 25 years of Puyo Puyo history. Competitive multiplayer modes feature fan favorite rule sets from Puyo Puyo 2 and Puyo Puyo Fever. Hop online and battle in Puyo Puyo League matches or play casually via free play and run your own local tournaments with up to 8 players for the ultimate bragging rights. I would say that I'm not alone in the fact that I had never actually heard of Puyo Puyo until Puyo Puyo Tetris came to the Nintendo Switch and at that point I started looking into the game itself and it is actually a pretty interesting puzzle game. So if you are a fan of something like Tetris with a bit of a spin on it, then I would highly recommend checking out Puyo Puyo Champions, especially if you have people to play with, if you like online matchmaking. It's a very multiplayer centric take on the game. So again, it is coming out this week on the PS4, the Xbox One, the Switch, and the PC. Next up we have Brief Battles coming out on the PS4, the Xbox One, the Switch, and the PC. May your butt reign supreme. Brief Battles brings bottom up action to your screen in a party game with a cheeky twist. It's all about the undies. Start hilarious battles with nothing but your buns to slam and squish those in your sights. This is very disturbing to read. Scramble to grab super powered undies to embrace the power of the butt and gain an underwear fueled edge over your friends as you strive to prove who has the mightiest buns. And now some bullet points. Multiplayer Mayhem. Gather up to three friends to dominate in classic or ridiculous underpants themed game modes. Solo and co-op challenges. Test your skills in solo challenges or battle beasties with a friend. Nimble under warriors. Play as one of six cute, plump, wobbly characters and unlock charming crossover skins. Super powered undies. Conquer foes with buns of steel, toxic tidy whities flaming hot pants, and more. Attractive arenas. Battle in 50 unique and treacherous 2.5D arenas across five regions. Play at your pace. Trophy hunters can push their skills to the limit to reach the hardest challenge goals while accessibility options open the game up to everyone and there will be free updates no peed <laughs> no peed i'm thinking about thinking about underwear and everything no paid dlc no buts about it so Brief Battles is coming around at a very interesting time where these fighting games that don't take themselves too seriously are kind of rising in popularity. Of course, this is not going to be something like Brawlhalla, but kind of imagine combining Brawlhalla with Gang Beasts. That's pretty much what I'm getting from this game. Of course, the main gimmick here is that the underwear is where you get your power from, which to be fair, a good pair of underwear can completely change your outlook on the world. So I totally understand that perspective. Uh, but with that being said, you have all these power-ups that come with your underwear. So 
so that's pretty much what's going on here if it sounds like something you might be interested in if maybe you stream and you play with some friends if you like to have friends over to play or if you like to play with friends online you might want to check this one out because it could be a very good party game both in person and digitally and it's coming out this week on the ps4 the xbox one the pc and the nintendo switch and to round out today's main games we have ascendance coming to the nintendo switch enter the enigmatic world of ascendance and experience an enchanting and peaceful journey to the sky and beyond ascendance is a calming relaxing and minimalist first person 3d platformer shape your way with mysterious abilities and rise with the enchanted wind platforms beyond the skies within a world which evolves and transforms around you a journey which leads you through different ages of our world awaits you and now some features minimalistic and low poly aesthetics with colorful and vibrant vistas peaceful and playful easy to play and progress at your own pace an emotional and enchanting soundtrack will accompany you on your journey smooth platforming and flying gameplay hidden secrets to find three different visually unique levels a mysterious surprise awaiting you at the end and even more levels mechanics and time modes with a future update now before we go into this i want to say the game is out right now on steam and it's four bucks so go into this with that kind of perspective on top of that the game also has relatively negative reviews because of the fact that it's relatively short and it doesn't do this style of game as well as a game called Refunct, which is also on Steam and has overwhelmingly positive reviews. Very popular game. Uh, but with that being said, on the Nintendo Switch, of course, this is a different version of the game, a different build, if you will. Everything has been ported over and made accessible for the Nintendo Switch. So a couple of the technical issues people might have had are probably gone by now. And on top of that, more updates are going to be coming to add new modes, etc. So if you are looking for something of an experience, if you're looking for uh, not necessarily a puzzle game, but a very relaxing, chill out kind of game, you might want to check out Ascendance when it comes to the Nintendo Switch this week. And to round out today's entire show, we have one honorable mention, which is that Yakuza Kiwami 2 is finally coming to the PC. And so that rounds out today's episode of The Drop. If you did enjoy this one, be sure to drop me a like down below and let me know in the comments section what games caught your eye, if any. Of course, as I said, a relatively light week, but still some pretty good diamonds in the rough. But this show is hosted every single Sunday. Of course, there is new content throughout the week, so subscribe to stay up to date on everything I pump out, including a daily gaming news podcast five days a week, Monday through Friday. But until next time, have a fantastic rest of your day and peace.